In this video, we're gonna learn how to create folded paper text effect in Adobe Illustrator. First, we need to know how this thing works. So we're gonna start with an easy one with this folded rectangle paper. The concept is same for the text. You just need to follow a few more steps. Okay, first select the rectangle tool. You can select either the rectangle or the rounded rectangle tool. Now draw a rectangle here. With the selection tool or the direct selection tool, make the corners rounded. Now we need to cut or slice one corner. Select the pen tool and draw a shape here like this. Just make sure you cover the corner part. It doesn't matter if you select extra. Let's pick a different color so that we can see it clearly. Now we need to remove the extra part and slice the corner. Select the selection tool. Select these two shapes. Now select the shape builder tool. The keyboard shortcut is shift plus M. With the shape builder tool, if you hold alt or option, then you can remove any areas. Here we want to remove these extra areas. And if you just click, then it will create a separate shape. See this area is separated now. I'm pressing Ctrl Command and Z to undo. Now we just need to flip it. Hold Shift while flipping so it will just snap with the other shape. Okay, we are getting there. But if we change the color to black, then it just blends with the other shape. To make it look like a folded paper, not just a flat solid color, we can use highlights and shadows and we can achieve that by using gradient. Click the larger shape and go to the gradient panel. I've attached some panels here. These are the ones which I frequently use. You can find all of them in window. Okay, now click the linear gradient. By default, the white to black gradient is applied and that will do the job here. With the gradient tool, we need to adjust it. For this one, something like this will do. We also need to apply the gradient in the folded part. Select the folded part and now select the eyedropper tool. The keyboard shortcut is I. Now just click in the larger part to copy the gradient in the folded paper. With the gradient tool, adjust the gradient shapes. Okay, this is the main concept. This way you can add different shapes like the top one here. Let's do the text now. First select the type tool. I'll write A, just the A. Now pick any bold thick font. Right now it's a text, we need to convert it into a shape. We can go to object and select expand or you can go to type and select create outline. Let's pick a blue color for this one. Now like before we need to slice the corners. Select the pen tool and draw some shapes in the corner. Let's change the blue color for these shapes so we can differentiate from the main body. Hold shift and click to select multiple shapes and then pick a different color. Now like before we need to remove the extra parts with the shape builder tool. Select the shape builder tool and hold alter option and click to remove the extra areas. Then just click for the folded parts so they will be separated. Flip the folded parts. While you flip them, make sure a smart guide is checked. It will help you to snap into places. Now let's use the gradient. For this one, I will use a darker blue to white gradient. With the gradient tool, adjust the gradient. Select the other two shapes and with the eyedropper tool, copy the gradient. And then adjust them. In the last example, we didn't need to add any shadows. It was totally black. But here in this case, adding shadows is necessary. We can go to effect, stylize and select drop shadow. But I wouldn't suggest this because this is a rasterized effect. Since we are creating it Adobe Illustrator, it's better to avoid anything which is rasterized. But for your work, if rasterizing is okay, then go for it. There are a few ways you can add shadows, but I'll show you a simple and a quick one. First select one of the folded part and copy it. Then paste it in back. Try to remember the keyboard shortcuts. Now if I change the color to black and move it a bit by pressing the arrow keys, then you can see it is now behind the gradient shape. First we need to adjust it with the direct selection tool. Click a point and match it with respective corner points except for this one. It looks like a shadow but it's a little too harsh. We can make it softer without adding blur. We're gonna again use the gradient. Select the linear gradient and add a white to black gradient. Now adjust it in such a way that as it goes further away, it becomes white. But in shadows, there shouldn't be any white, right? We can remove the white by simply changing the blend mode. 
go to the transparency panel and change the blend mode to multiply. It will keep the darker areas and knock off the white areas. By the way, you can also use the mask to create similar type of shadows. Anyway, now we can adjust it with the gradient tool. Similarly, we can add shadows in the other folded areas. So this is how you can create folded text effect in Adobe Illustrator. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new from it. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching. Oh,